Hi, everybody. I'm gonna let you guys start coming on. We've got a big show today and a very special guest. So I'm just gonna wait and let you guys start coming on. Hello. Hi, everybody. We'll just let you guys start jumping on here. We've got a very special guest today, a very exciting show. Again, a life-changing show, life-changing information, health-changing information, expanding that health span because um, stress is the number one cause of all age-related diseases. So hello everybody thank you guys so much for coming i'm going to be doing this now every saturday at this time if that works for you guys so i want to make sure that i get all of my normal people that come on to support me every week i love that it means so much to me so thank you guys so much um before david stewart comes on now david stewart is the founder and face of Ageist. So the the um, Instagram handle, We Are Ageist, that is David Stewart. He is also the host of the Super Age podcast. He will be coming on here shortly. How do you keep your hair healthy? Oh my gosh, that is a whole other <laughs> um, live, which I will tackle. So if you guys have any suggestions on um, future topics, please put them in the comments. I will be scrolling through these um, and as we're getting started here, make sure that you want to be in the drawing. So last week's drawing was um, the winner. Uh, there's one winner for the Moder Cell Proof Body Firming Foam, the B-Flat um, Firming Belly Cream, and the Mini Foam Roller. The winner for that was Fit Sandra, um, Sandra Milano. So congratulations for that. Um, and I will go over that again. So uh, he is right here. So let me see if I can get him on here. Yeah. Fingers crossed. The winner, the 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 item up for grabs um, this time is the cryo ice sake roller. So make sure that you invite your three people, and you'll be in the drawing for that. Hello, David. I'm. I'm. Hey, great. how are you? How are you doing? Are you on this? I'm good. Folks? Thank you. Oh, oh my God, I love it. Absolutely. I love it. Coming live from the streets, <laughs> from the ski slopes. This is David Stewart, everybody. <laughs> Yay. I have been, before we get started, I just want to, I'll sing your praises a little bit because um, we are ageist, which you are the founder and face of, um, which is how to live healthier, how to live longer, how to live ha happier. It is long overdue, my friend. And so I applaud you for, uh, on behalf of all 50-year-olds on these social media plat platforms, I'm 55, <laughs> um, and, and it's just such a breath of fresh air to be, um, to break through those stereotypes and show people what it's really like to be over 50 because it's not what people perceive it to be. So welcome, welcome, welcome. And Today, we are Thank going you. to be talking about stress and inflammation. So, yeah. tell me how you got into yeah. this. I mean, how you how got, I got into, into stress? Well, first of all, how did what? You get in, what inspired you to start We Are Ageist and, and the Super Age podcast? Yeah. And how in, in coming up with your PDF on, on all the solutions to do with stress... <laughs> How did that materialize? Okay, well, well let's start with how I started Aegis. So um, I had a pretty high level career as a photographer. I used to, I've done a lot of magazine covers, done a lot of advertising, worked in New York, Paris, Los Angeles, Tokyo. Um, and what I saw was when I was about 56, I noticed that all the people I was taking pictures of, they all stay the same age. They're all, you know, like sort of 18 to 28. And me and all my friends are getting older. And as I see the imagery and the messaging, said it really, it starts at about 40. Like anybody who are 40, we're like um, a yeah. medical condition in need of a solution. And I thought, this is horrible. This is really infantilizing. I don't feel like that. Like, I mean, look at me, look at where I am today. So. <laughs> like, 
I, I, you know, that's that's sort of this, the only visuals you'd see out there was this yeah. sort of like the AARP sort of crap or, um, you know, the pharma stuff or the, you know, two nice waspy people in dockers walking down the beach with their golden retriever into the yeah. sunset. Like, who is that? Like, I don't know. Like, my people are cool. We do stuff. We're, you know, we're sporty. We're, we're going to be around for a long time. And I didn't really see how this matched up. So I said, okay, well, let's start this. <clears throat> and, you know, the way it starts is people, the biggest difference between us right. and people who are younger is the way we look. It's all about the visual. So at ages, that's, you know, I'm really proud of the way it looks um, because it doesn't look like any of that stuff. Um, because that's always the question. People want to know, like, like, what do you guys look like? What is this like? So, so we did that. Um, and then we've been doing this for about eight years now. Uh, and, and when we started this, what we realized was that the way people behave was really very, very much about how they felt about their, themselves in the future. And the way they felt about themselves in the future was based upon how they felt about their physicality right then. <clears throat> so that's why we spend a lot of emphasis on um, health, wellness, brain health, and then sort of the big four that we look at, which is <clears throat> what are you eating, how are you sleeping, how are you yes. moving, and what are you doing with your stress? So that's like 95% of it. You know, you can get into like the supplements and the sort of exotic treatments and stuff. Yeah. But really, those are the big four. And of those, stress is, which I didn't think would be the case, but stress is. is really the most powerful one. Because chronic stress is this, it sends this, a, a series of signals through your body that ups your cortisol level, it's your blood sugar is going to go up, and it epigenetically signals your cells to be behave in um, sort of a pro, uh, pro yeah. aging, uh, accelerating aging way. So we all suffer from stress and understanding how to mm -hmm. reduce that, how to bring that down. And, yes. and mind you, some stress is really good. So like, um, uh, like I, I ski pretty fast. So that's right. Um, you don't want to be relaxed. On high alert. <laughs> you want to be pretty. Right. You want to be pretty switched on or bad things so are going to happen. Before we get into, <laughs> so, David, before we get into the um, poll, because I, yeah. want to, I want, we, we want solutions here. <laughs> so for those of you who have not been on my show before, I'm a gerontologist. I'm a healthy aging specialist. I do, I do everything that de deals with healthy aging. Um, and so stress, like David was saying, is it is literally a silent killer. And the reason why I call it a silent killer is because we don't realize oftentimes how stressed out we are. And that's because, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm yeah. gonna do a little sciencey just for a second. So bear with me, uh, it's gonna take me two minutes, but I think that if I, if I explain it like this, all of those people that are on this show right now may be thinking, I, you know, I'm stressed, but I can handle it. It's fine, but we can't. And it's then showing up as chronic diseases. So really quickly, this is what our stress yeah. hormones look like. This is our whole system. And what happens when you perceive stress, like David was saying, a lot of times it's great because our bodies are made to perceive stress and to, it works in our advantage. But what happens when you have this whole lit, this whole entire cycle, which is the HPA access, this is a, a biofeedback system. So the hypothalamus in your brain perceives the stress, a cascade of hormones happen, right? But when we get back down to here, so it has released cortisol, it ha hits your pituitary gland, it releases cortisol. That is our fight and flight. That's what increases our heart rate. So that's why you're skiing down a mountain. Um, it, it slows down our digestion. So all of the things that are super non-important at that time from skiing down a mountain, do you need to digest? All of those things get suppressed. Our immune system gets suppressed. But when we're, our body is filled with cortisol and our body is filled with excess glucose, it then relays back to the brain. And if this does not subside, if we're not, if we're not having that homeostasis that brings us all the way back down to a set point, 
we have an increased set point. And when our, when our set point for anxiety and, and, and all of that cortisol levels are at a higher level, that is chronic stress. We might not feel it. It might feel like we're in that rest and digest, but it is there and it is an underlying chronic stress. And that is the thing that will kill you. That's why it's a silent killer because we are living in an over caffeinated, over stimulated, over plugged in world that is becoming increasingly more difficult to unplug. And so we think that we've got it under control, but we're, but it's, it's going to lead to heart disease and, and high blood pressure and and cancer and all of these things. Okay, take it away, David. <laughs> yeah. How do we fix it? Well, well, that's right. You know, um, in increased blood sugar and cortisol are great sometimes. Like we need them, right? Um, when you, you need cortisol to actually help with the inflammation cycle when you work out. Like if you don't, if you don't have enough cortisol then like right. it's, you're not gonna repair. <laughs> the problem is modulating this. So one of the things, one of the, you know, any sort of elite athlete, what they're really good at is doing the up really quick and then down really quick, mm -hmm. that down regulating. So, you know, that's the, I'm friends with Joel Jameson, who's the famous strength and conditioning coach. And he'll say, your training is really only limited for how you can recover. And your recovery is limited by how quickly you can bring right. your central nervous system down. So bringing that down. And there are a lot of really simple techniques. So, you know, if you're in a stress situation, there's, there's sometimes box breathing. Sometimes box, box breathing is very simple. It's like four in. Hold for, okay, so out for, for, for those wait of you for. who've never but, heard but of that, it... if you were to visualize a box and you breathe in for four, so inhale for a count of four, you're visualizing this box. So it's taking your brain away from your grocery list, away from all the tax, tasks that you have to do that day, but you're inhaling for a count of four. You're imagining that box as if you're drawing a line, you're holding it for a count of four, you're exhaling inhaling slowly for a count of four, and then you're holding it for a count of four. So that is the box press. In mm -hmm. four, hold four, out four. Okay. Okay. Yep. So, so that's like a really great one to do before you go to bed. Um, if you have a blood pressure monitor, you will see your blood pressure just go woof when you do that. Um, you're, you're signaling your vagus nerve, you're signaling your body, the fight's over. Everything's cool. We can chill out. If, however, sometimes you can't do that one. Um, another one that I like to do is sort of the two quick in and one long out. So what you do is two in through your nose and you go, and then a little more and then out. Everybody, everybody that's on here, let's do that together. So let's do that. How many times are you supposed to do that, David? Well, I, you know, it sort of depends on your situation. Um, I find like, you know, if you do it 10 times, it's gonna have a real effect. So this is, this is really good. If you're in a situation, you gotta go into a meeting or you, you, know, you just had a dispute with your spouse or something, box breathing okay. can actually be a little difficult. But this one's really good because you inhale through the nose as much as you can and then, and then one more. And then very slow as, so inhale through the nose as much as you can. And just when you think you're at that top, inhale again. Okay, I'm gonna do, let's do it one yep. more time. Okay. That's it. Uh, okay. And then. It does kind of feel better, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't that feel good? And you feel great, you right? That anywhere. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, you can do that anywhere. Um, and. That's one of the, so you're gonna think more clearly, you're going to get more in your body, everything is gonna settle down. You're gonna be able to focus right. better. Um, in, the, in the stress guide that you, you know, we, everybody go to um, ages.com slash stress yes. and you can download this. Um, we, spent, we spent a lot of time putting this together. There's, there's, you know, <laughs> there's, thank you for I showing me. Uh, Listen, I love you. Put it out. I have notes in here. It's 
It's awesome because, you know, I talk about stress on this show. For those of you who are, who are not on my normal Saturday 11 show, we talk about everything. So it's aging from, it's, it's healthy aging from the outside in. So all, anything that you can do to your skin, your skin is a very large organ. But also how are, most of it comes from the inside. What we had talked about earlier, what are you eating? How are you managing your stress? How are you sleeping? And shockingly, stress affects all of that. I mean, if you're... Or if you're if you're very calm, you have a lot less chance of finding yourself face first in a bag of Doritos, right? If your stress levels are high, you're gonna grab, <laughs> you're gonna reach for those sugary, high sugar, high carb snacks because we're trying to soothe ourselves. Our cortisol levels can affect our diurnal sleep patterns, so we're not sleeping as much, right? So those set points when it comes to stress can affect everything. People are very um, resistant to, to, not resistant, they're more resistant to listen to stress causing age related diseases. But when I say, you know, increased stress, chronic stress can make you fat, all of a sudden I've got like, oh, everybody oh, yeah. wants to know, like, how does that happen? But it can. Yeah. It, it's all yeah. related. Oh, absolutely. So if you go. Go to ages.com, you really yeah. should download this whole PDF. It's free. You sign up for the mailing list, which you're going to want to be on anyways. It's free. Print it out. Go through, go through this and find some of the things that work for you. Because I, you know, some of the things I've done for a long time, I've done box breathing for a long time. I actually did a reels on that. So you guys scroll on my Instagram and you'll find that there's a tutorial on some of these things. But some of the things I, I had not thought about before. So what are the, uh, some of the other ways that people can, some of these other tools where we can learn to decrease our stress? Well, I, I think it's twofold. I think the first is, um, you know, you, know re you can reduce the amount of stress input. Yes. Like you're in control of that, right? You know, you don't have to be doom scrolling the news all day long. The news is going to be just fine without you. It'll be okay. You can, you know, you can disengage on that. That's up to you. That's totally within your power. You don't have to do that. Um, if you, you know, if you need to do it, like just bring it to a window, like, like put a timer on it. It's like, okay, I'm going to look at Twitter yeah. for the next five minutes and then uh. out. Right. Um, I, I, I think that there's, um, so much like just like walking consciously in nature has a way of just and it doesn't like what we like to say is it yeah. doesn't have to be big nature like it doesn't have to be like you know where i am now it can just be like you walk down your street observe the trees listen to the birds pay attention to your breathing and things are just going to ratchet down you know our, our, a lot of times our natural instinct is to just add more stress to the yeah. stress because we think we're going to relieve that. And then, as you said, <laughs> you end up face down in a, in a bowl True. of Doritos. It's happened, so, folks. It's right. happened. Yeah. Don't do that. It, 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 yeah, it happens. And, you know, one of the things that I did last year, I wore a continuous glucose monitor for a month. And what was so interesting about that, you know, initially I just like, oh, how does what food affects me? Yeah, it was nothing too unexpected. But what was super unexpected was the effect of stress okay. on my glucose levels. So any any kind of stress, and zoom, those why. glucose I'm levels tell go you up. Why. Not good. So our 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 glucose is stored in our muscles, but when in times of of high stress. If in for thinking about it as a sympathetic nervous system where we want to be on alert, we need that energy rushing through our blood to get to our muscles so that we can run, we can fight, or we can flight. So that is, that's part of why stress also increases insulin resistance, leads to type 2 diabetes. There is yep. a whole bunch of yep. evidence that says if you are chronically stressed, even low-level chronic stress, your the inflammation in your body and the the blood sugar level goes up yep. you're going to end up packing on some weight uh it, it, it absolutely absolutely and uh, when i when i did this i found that of course stress like you know like what i'm doing here of course makes sense right um if i go in the sauna interesting hormetic stressor um blood sugar goes right. up but as soon as i get out it it drops if i'm on a 
if I'm on a phone call that's sort of tense, it goes up. Um, I have some sort of like, you know, yeah. a conflict with my wife, it goes up. So that, we're, but the trick is, right. that's fine, bring it down. Like you gotta bring that down and then everything's fine. So these, these sort of like up, down, okay, that's fine. But it's, if it stays up there, that's where you start getting, you know, as you said, type two diabetes, insulin resistance, Alzheimer's, dementia, cancer, heart disease, yes. all these things are that's related the part to this. That's that's really and interesting I, is that you would think that, that stress would not be the root cause of every chronic disease, but it, it's there. It's underlying in all of them. And so, it, oh. I, my, my hand is getting really cold. I'm sorry, it's like 20 degrees here. I'm sorry. Um, and one of the things that you, that you mentioned in this free downloadable PDF on Aegis.com is that if you, you know, just to get out in nature, I did a whole, I did a whole um, Instagram live on grounding because we, we are wearing rubber sole shoes. Um, we're not utilizing right. the power of the earth and that exchange of electrons to bring our cortisol levels down. So getting outside, if you can get outside for 30 minutes a day with your shoes off and really connect with the earth, you have that exchange of electrons and they have tested the saliva um, in cortisol, the, uh, cortisol in the saliva and grounding for 30 minutes a day brings that cortisol levels down. And that's the indication that the inflammation and the stress right. levels are coming down. But you had another tip in here that I thought was great, which was multitasking. If you know that you have to be on a phone call, oh. get outside <laughs> and go for a walk and be on that phone call, right? I thought yeah. that that was a really interesting yeah. thing. So are yeah. there any yeah. other favorites that you have in here that you want to share? That, that I actually learned from Mariel Hemingway. Wow. Um, so I was, I was talking, I, I, I did some stuff with Mariel and, um, you only talk to Mariel when she's outside walking. Like that's how she conducts her social life and her business and everything is she's just like outside walking and she's like, you want to talk to me? Okay. I'm going to go out yeah. and yeah. walk and now we can talk. So did you find with that, with that continuous glucose monitor, did you find that you were able to yeah. in this, in the biofeedback? of the stress response, were you yeah. able to then make those lifestyle adjustments knowing that your glucose level was going up and your cortisol levels were going up? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty yeah. dialed in with that already. So um, it was, it, what was interesting to me was the, was the up. And then, you know, yeah. I can sort of bring it down. Um, the you know there's some people people that have like high blood pressure um you know you're I, i'm not a doctor i'm not a scientist but i can tell you my guess is oh, your high blood pressure 100%. is related to your blood glucose 100 and, percent. <laughs> and i'm not a doctor i'm a gerontologist but i did study this in school and 100 percent because you've got the vasoconstriction and so when you're when your when your blood vessels and your arteries are constricting which is important for fight or flight because you want you want that blood pumping right. hard. You want to be able to run. But when you're doing that, your blood pressure is going up. Your glucose levels are going up. It's, it's amazing yep. how interconnected all of our systems are in our body, right? And, you, want, and you know, the, as you mentioned, um, our digestive uh, tract is, is linked to this. You, it's very difficult to digest your food if you're in a yes. sympathetic nervous system. You need to bring that down. So, so everybody, this, you know, I know we all like to eat lunch and like have meetings and like doom scroll, but you know, right. maybe back off of that a little bit. Um, allow your digestive system to do what it's supposed to do and, mm -hmm. and you know, really take that break. Um, you know, make space for yourself. Um, you know, have dinners by candlelight, like have hot baths, do all these things that will help bring down that sympathetic response and reduce your stress. And, you know, ladies, <laughs> your skin's going to look better. <laughs> You're going to lose weight. There's a lot of, There's a lot of upsides to this. To this. And healthy aging <laughs> is not only what you're doing inside your body because there is that perception which is why i like a, which why i love a lot of the stuff that you do on we are ageist is because you're breaking those stereotypes but also you know we were all once 
in our 20s. We have any 20 year olds on there right now. You have an opportunity to change the way that you're aging. You have an opportunity right now to expand your health span in ways that if you didn't know stress was involved in all of these age related diseases, you might not make those changes. Here's the information guys. So teach your, if you're, if you're of our age, you gotta, you gotta implement these things, these, and this is a really great guide to do that because there's something for everyone in here, right? If, if meditation doesn't work for you, maybe the box breathing works for you. Maybe grounding works for you. Maybe just getting outside. All of these things will work together to help bring down that, those cortisol levels and those glucose in your, in your blood and will help to expand your, your health span. Um, so uh, if, you, if you follow us on We Are Ageist and you go to the link tree, which is in our bio, there's, um, I think the first one, you just yep. click that and it'll take you right to the stress guide. I, I wanted to tell you um, just so with an interesting fact I learned recently that identical twins, right? Identical genetic material. The average difference in mortality is 10 years. Right. Your right. genes are not your destiny. <laughs> it's your behavior. And you have control over your behavior and especially your stress level. Stress is going to hit you. All of us. Stuff happens. Like, you know, life happens. But how we deal with it, how we respond to it, that's up to us. And we can do that. We can have, I had a guy, I had a, a guy, a friend of a friend, he very high blood pressure, traveling executive. And he's like, oh, I'm really worried. I got to do all this medication. And I taught him box breathing. And he was, you know, he was like, yeah, whatever, this woo-woo stuff. So he has to wear, his doctor makes him take his blood pressure all the time. He, he calls me the next day and he's like, that was magic. Oh my God, my doctor couldn't believe it. My blood pressure mm -hmm. is like, yeah, dude, you can do this. Like this stuff is within our control and it's not it's, hard. It's really it is simple. really simple. And we're going to live longer. We're going to live healthier. We're going to be happier. I'm going to want that. So who oh. wants that? <laughs> I based my entire social media and all of my, my education on that exact premise. I want to live to be 100. I don't want to necessarily feel like I'm 100. I don't want to look like I'm 100. I want to be as healthy as I can, expand that health span right up into the end. That's, that's the goal here. So we have the tools. We have the tools to do that. If we know that inflammation is at the root cause of all age-related diseases, start at the source, right? And the source is that stress. An yep. interesting thing that I saw in here, though, David, was the little things, right? We perceive stress as these mm. giant things. Oh, oh, yeah, right. That's, so that's what's fascinating, right? So there's yes. a, I put the Muhammad Ali quote in there. It's like, uh, Ali says, I can climb the mountain. Yes. That's easy. It's the pebble in the shoe that gets me. And so we've studied this. The big, heavy stuff. Uh, you know, people dying, bankruptcies, yeah, all that stuff. That's like bad, but we're somehow able to manage that. The stuff that's like the tear in the screen door that's been bugging that you for the last four years, just you, fix it. You've been just like dying to like reorganize, right. and every time you open the closet, it's like, oh. Just, just do it. <laughs> you know, so much of this, it's, this, this is all zero cost. Like, this stuff... The, the, uh, the managing stress doesn't have to cost you any money. It doesn't really yeah. take much time. It's really simple. You know, we uh, like eliminate all this little stuff and stop the input of the stressful stuff that you're bringing into your life. You really need that? I mean, do you really need to know about some terrible thing that's happening yeah, somewhere? And, and another thing don't. that I've realized with, um, with you know, you know these, with our modern society is that people wear stress as like a badge of honor. Like I'm so stressed out or I, you know, I've done this, this and this and I barely slept last night. Yeah. And it's, it's not cool. You guys, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not a cool. No, <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> yeah. I mean, all right, here, I, wow. I smoked four packs of cigarettes last right. night. Like, wow. Like, it's this isn't the same, same ballpark, it, guys. That is a really Fuck. great way to put that. If you were to equate stress level with smoking cigarettes, which is, you know, everybody has said is bad. Right. The Surgeon General, there's the, the warnings on the pack. You know, if, 
if our life could come with warnings that stress equals death, early death, which it does mm -hmm. with, with in, on a cellular yes. level, you know, in our whole system, I, I think we yeah. have people doing and implementing these kind of, of lifestyle changes a lot, a lot more. So. Yeah, it's up to you. It's totally under your control. You make the decision. You want to be stressed? You want to be not stressed. If you want to be stressed, have at it. <laughs> um, me, I don't want to be stressed. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. Do about it. And that's part of. And so, for for those of you on this on this uh, live who don't who feel like you've got your stress under control, I just want you to remember that adjusting set point, right, where we might feel we're not stressed out. We know the big ones coming up. We can feel those. We can feel our chest tightening. We can feel our brain being foggy and being all over the place. It's the chronic stuff where we still have, it's that reset, the, the rest and digest that does not go back mm. all the way around. And we have a chronic reset of, so our stress level could have been here, but our homeostasis, it's not working. And we're continually having stress in our lives being plugged in, scrolling on TikTok, doing all of these things that we know are bad for us. And that set point raises. And so even though you feel like you've calmed down, yeah. it's affecting yeah. your organs, it's affecting you on a on a cellular level, your your all of your veins and arteries. It's it's something that is like a silent killer and it is the, at the root of all age related diseases. So this is a super important topic. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, um, okay, I've cool. lost the feeling in my hand. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> it's really cold here. I'm gonna go. You guys, thank you so much for, for, you know, joining us. If you can download the stress guide, you'll probably yes. really enjoy it. Ages.com slash stress or just go follow us on Instagram. We are Ages. Yes. Go to the link in bio. Everybody stay on because we're gonna talk a little it. bit more and um, I don't wanna go talk about the giveaway, okay. but we're gonna say goodbye to David. You can find him at Ages.com. His Instagram is We Are Ages and he is the founder and face of, of We Are Ages. And he also has, he's the host of the Super Age podcast. So go find him, download that free PDF. I thank you so much, David. Are you guys, if you can stay on for a little bit, we have a thank giveaway. Thank you so much. Thank you, David. Just click the button to go off. Bye. Okay. okay, so I just wanted to tell you guys that was so nice of David to stay. Next week, I'm going to be doing fad diets. So we're going to talk about fad diets. We're going to talk about the high protein fad diet that we are currently in. I know, I know, but we are currently in a high protein fad diet. We're going to talk about keto. We're going to talk about paleo. I'm gonna give you all of the benefits and the bullshit with all of those kind of diets because we are just bombarded with marketing. Um, and so, you know, if you look at our diets 10 years ago, there we weren't counting the protein in things, right? 20 years ago, we were, we were looking at the fat. Everything came out with non-fat, non-fat. They upped the sugar, everybody got fat. So. There's, uh, this is gonna be the topic for next week. I don't know if I'm gonna bring on a guest. I will try and see if there's somebody that wants to talk about this subject. But you know what's interesting is a lot of dietitians and a lot of nutritionists that, um, that I follow or who follow me, um, they're still in this high, high protein fad that we're in and they have discovered um, with Dr. Walter Longo and the Longevity Center in USC, which was a professor of mine, when I got my uh, gerontology degree, um, that high protein, excessive high protein actually can lead to dementia and Alzheimer's because of the protein accumulation in the brain. So next week, same time at, on Saturday at 11 a.m., we're gonna tackle the fad diets and we're gonna get you guys doing, eating healthy and really understanding what our bodies were supposed to do um, and what is the marketing behind food because nobody's doing a marketing on it nobody's marketing an orange right nobody's marketing a lemon these are single ingredient foods there's no marketing behind that but man you get a protein bar or a protein powder and the amount of marketing all of a sudden we need all this protein in our in our system it's it's 
there is such a thing as too much and it will hurt you. And so we're going to break down all of these fad diets and really get you guys as healthy as you possibly can be. Because what really pisses me off is when, is, is when we succumb to the marketing because it's so good, right? People get paid to have us believe stuff and then go and purchase it. I mean, it, it's supposed to, it's supposed to confuse us. It's supposed to make us wondering what are we supposed to eat, right? That's the nature of marketing. So next week, we're going to really, really tackle that. So I wanted to last week's giveaway, just real quick. We're going to go over this real quick. Um, this might be a short session because we did talk about a lot of stuff with, with, um, David Stewart. So last week, uh, the winner of the B-flat firming body uh, belly cream and the lymphatic roller and the Modare um, self-proof body firming foam. That is Fit Sandra, Sandra Milano. Congratulations. I will get your um, mailing address and we will get that to you in the mail. And then the, for this week, we've got up for grabs this cryo ice sake roller. So you, you put this in the freezer. And the reason why I try to kind of come up with the themes Last week was about all of the anti-aging body treatments. So everything that you can do in terms of tightening your skin, increasing collagen production, um, all of that stuff, that was my live for last week. So if you're interested in that, red light therapy, microneedling, all of that stuff, remember what I do as a gerontologist and a healthy aging coach is not just let's get you as healthy as we can from the inside. Sometimes it's nice to like, do stuff on the outside too, because our skin is our largest organ. It takes a combination. What's on the inside also affects the outside. What you do to the outside affects your mindset and what you end up doing with your life. So all of this is interconnected when we're talking about healthy aging. The reason why I am giving this one away for this week is because it does help with the stress reduction. This is a cryotherapy. So there's a lot of research saying that cryotherapy helps to boost your mood. It is true. I take a two to three minute freezing cold shower every morning. Dry brush first. That's in last week's live. So last week's live, we did talk about dry brushing because that is a full body treatment. Lymphatic drainage helps with cellulite reduction, um, increases circulation. So I dry brush and then I take a three minute freezing cold shower and have the shower hit me right you know basically on the head and so there is a a stress reduction with that there is an elevation of mood a decrease in anxiety and so up for grabs this time is this this cryo ice sake roller um and so make sure the first thing that you need to do is invite your three people with the little arrow down there and then once i post this feed with david stewart to my main feed you're going to tag three people and you'll be in the drawing for this so that's it next week we're going to talk about um, the fad diets, which is going to be a good one. So if you guys have any questions, I'm just going to scroll a little bit. Thank you guys all so much for being here. It means the world to me. I love seeing like people that come back all the time. Um, and there is getting a lot of feedback, but that said, if you guys have any suggestions of things that you want to see, um, you know, I have on some of my lives, I've microneedled my whole face. Um, I talked about red light therapy. I've talked about different treatments, um, but we've also talked about top 10, my top 10 tips for healthy weight loss, right? So it's all of this combination. If you've got any suggestions, we've done hormone replacement therapy. We had Dr. Taylor on here, which is what, who I consider to be the, at the she's the front runner in terms of online um, hormone replacement therapy and, and menopause. So um, we have that live as well. And if you are interested in any of the lives that I talked about, I know because I post a lot, it, it might be a little bit difficult to find it in the feed. Um, but when I post the feed, you'll see the thumbnail that I use is a certain type of th thumbnail. It looks different than my other thumbnails. Those are my lives. So you can then easily go and click on the thumbnails that look like that and you'll get that live show. So that's one way I've tried to make it easier for you guys to go back and find those lives. Um, so let me just see if there's any questions, any questions. And again, you guys, after this show, make sure you tag your three people to be in the drawing, but check out my link tree and go to the YouTube channel. There's like 140 videos on that YouTube channel. A lot of them are in-office procedures, but there's also things I'm talking about 
um, intermittent fasting. I'm talking about um, ultimate skincare routines. There's weight loss tips in there. There's other things that you would not think that are have to do with healthy aging, such as pesticides in food and sleep. I have an ultimate sleep guide in there. So make sure that you check that out as well. Okay. Um, so I, I think that that's it. This might be a little tiny bit shorter of a video, but if anybody would like to ask a question, I am here hanging out and I am open for anything. Um, if there's a question about, oh, let me see, let me scroll back a tiny bit. That's my life. Once I get all my projects and organized done. Yeah. You know, it's interesting because his, the PDF that he has, that was one of the things that really kind of stood out to me because, oh my God, if you saw this kitchen counter right now, it's like, I've got piles of things that I need to get to. And I do have a problem with organization. And, um, and so those little things, the pebbles in the shoes that if you can get those under control, those are a lot less stressful. And if anybody's ever cleaned out a closet that you know, you've been putting off for a long time or cleaned out your garage, you know, that's a pebble in the shoe right, that adds to the chronic inflammation. It adds to that low level underlying adjustment of the set point for our chronic stress, which then leads to all of the age-related diseases. So it's fascinating the way that the body works. Um, and, and again, we're designed to deal with stress. That's why we have this whole system in the first place. But it's when you do this loop back, our body then tries to see, okay, how much cortisol is in our bloodstream? We still have a lot of cortisol in our bloodstream. Maybe we're still in the middle of stress. Let's repeat this whole thing. And when you find that homeostasis, that set point raises. And that is what accumulates to be our chronic level of stress, which affects everything. So again, make sure that you go to Aegis.com. That's A-G-E-I-S-T.com and download the free PDF. There's a lot of different um, remedies in here, different things where I think, you know, you can, there's something in here for everything. I've done a, a live on grounding. You guys remember that live where I sat in the grass? That's something that works for me, right? I meditate. I do the box breathing. Um, I do the four, seven, eight breath, which is when you inhale for four through your nose, you hold it for seven seconds and you exhale for eight seconds. Um, that is also a tutorial that I have on here. That tends to work for me, um, but also just getting outside barefoot and using that power of the earth. So if you missed that live on grounding, that is a life-changing, cortisol-changing, inflammation-changing, easy, free, healthy aging hack that will add life to your years and expand that health span. So it's, it doesn't take a lot to do that, but when we get in this cycle of hyper caffeinated, uber plugged in, frazzled, doing so many things at one time, and then we've got all these little tiny pebbles in our shoes, like the closet that needs to be cleaned out, the scratch on the countertop, whatever it is, all these little pebbles in the, in the, in the shoe, that then, because we've got these bigger stressors, just sit there and pile up that's when it's like we're, we're just not doing what's healthy for us so if you can implement some of those little tricks i'm plugging for a half, half hour i'm not going to take my phone with me on a walk i'm going to leave my phone at home the world's not going to crash and i'm going to go out for a walk or sit in the grass and drink a cup of tea these little things that we can implement and you got it you have to find the ones that are right for you not every Everybody is able to sit still and meditate for 30 minutes or even five minutes. For a lot of people, that's really hard to shut your brain off like that, which is why maybe it would work for you to implement some of the breath work so it's not passive, but you're actively doing the box, right? You're actively inhaling for four, holding for four, exhaling for four, holding for four inhaling for four and repeating, right? So that is more to me, an active way to get my brain to shut off from the grocery list or the pebble in my shoe, to actively bring it back. 
Um, and so for me, I sit on the front in the front yard. Um, when we moved into this house, it was all pebbles. And I said, I can't move into a house that doesn't have some, a little patch of grass. Doesn't take a lot. I have a little patch of grass out the front yard. And as soon as I get done with this, I'm gonna be taking my mushroom coffee. Again, another, another subject for alive, all the superfoods that I do. Um, but I'm gonna be taking my mushroom coffee and sitting out in the grass and doing some breathing exercises. And that's how I kind of decompress. Um, but again, it's not for everybody. And there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. So make sure that you download that PDF. So I'm gonna see if there's anything else you guys, thank you so much for being here, for joining. Just know that every Saturday at the same time, 11 a.m., I'm going to be going live on different topics. Some of them are, you know, purely external stuff. You know, how do we make our skin better? How do we reduce the bags under our eyes? How do we make healthy hair? Um, but then a lot of it is also internally. What are you doing internally? Because there are things that you can eat that make your skin shine. You guys know when you've had a couple glasses of wine, what your, what your face looks like in the morning, right? So it's what you're, it starts with what you put in your body, but it's also so much more than that. It is stuff that you do to your face. It is stuff that you do to your skin because our skin is our largest organ. But when you're not healthy inside, the first place it shows is in your skin. Right When I work with clients one-on-one, -on -one, and by the way, for those of you new here, um, I thank David for, for introducing us and bringing you on here, but for those of you new, new here, I'm a gerontologist, I'm a holistic nutrition and health coach, I'm also a, a yoga instructor, um, or certified yoga instructor, but I don't really do that. I, I mostly, my, my jam is to work one-on-one -on -one with people, because when I work one-on-one -on -one with people, I can really get in there See what is going on in your life. Not only will we revamp your skincare to make sure that your skincare is effective, right? Because there's no sense in like slathering stuff on if you don't have any actives in it. So if you missed my live on the ultimate skincare routine, I also posted that to YouTube. So you can find that on YouTube. Um, if you subscribe to the email list, which is in my link tree, you'll see um, get my skincare routine. Subscribe to that email list and immediately following in your inbox, you get my whole skincare routine, morning and night with options and links to those products. So I'm not a brand ambassador for any skincare line. I really try not to be affiliated in that way. When I am, I ask for free product to give to you because if I'm gonna test it, if I, if I get this great job that I love in testing skincare, and figuring out the best way to look and feel your best at every age and every stage of life. I want to share that with you, which is why every Saturday we do a giveaway. So um, remember that the winner from last Saturday, last Saturday was a giant giveaway. This was all from last Saturday when we did all of the full body anti-aging treatments. This was a giveaway. If anybody's interested in these products, um, especially the Modare, um, I do take their liquid collagen, which is unbelievable talk about skincare from the inside out the liquid collagen is pretty amazing so if you if you're interested in that dm me the word collagen i'll make sure that i get you that link but this winner was fit sandra um and i know fit i don't know if fit sandra is here today on this live but i've seen her multiple times on lives and i'm so excited that you won so get me your address i'll stick that in the mail before I get off of here, oh, we've got, we, have a, we have a few minutes, but before I get off of here, to be in the drawing, what happens is you use that little airplane thing, the little send thing right there. You click on that, you invite three people. Once you do that, immediately following this live, I post the whole live to my feed where it, it just stays there. So if you wanna go back and reference anything that we talked about today, it's super easy to do. Um, take a look at that thumbnail though when I post it and that's your indication of what all the other lives are. So you'll see on the thumbnails, you know, kind of scattered throughout my main feed, you'll see that those, which ones are lives and what the topics are right by the thumbnail. Um, but like I was saying earlier, my main thing that I love that brings me tons of joy I mean, tons of joy is working one on one with people because that's where I feel I can make the biggest difference, not only in what you look like and, and your, the psychology behind that, the psychology behind aging. I, I do have a master's in psychology along with being a gerontologist. I know it's just, I'm a lifelong learner and I love it. And this is my passion. 
but to work one on one with somebody and get in there and at the age in their 50s like I'm 55 to see somebody's skin look a certain way and then work with me for a couple months and I know wow I have completely change the trajectory of what this person's skin's going to look like and it's going to get better and better i do that internally as well with health right if i can't help you if you've got high blood pressure if you've got like different things going on we work with your diet we work with little tiny steps incremental steps steps that are painless because we do it slowly this isn't a fad diet this isn't a, like a crash course we do things slowly. I look at what you're eating. I look at how you're moving. I look at how you're sleeping. What is your hormonal status? Are you menopausal? I give you all of those kind of links, but also I will help you find functional medicine doctors with whatever is ailing you. If I feel like this is a little bit out of my realm. So I have, I have diabetic patients. I have, di I have patients on Ozempic shots. Um, that I that I will work with their doctors with. Um, so so Sophia says, I want to know all the procedures. What have you done? Like all of it. Oh my God, you guys, that's a whole other life. <laughs> that is a whole other life because I think I came out of the womb really interested in longevity and looking and feeling your best. I bought my first wrinkle cream when I was 15, um, not because I had any wrinkles, but because I was interested in the science of it. And I still remember it, it was an Estee Lauder. It was a swirly blue serum that I saved. I worked in, I've worked my whole life since I was, I think I, my first job, I was 13 years old. But I, I saved up my money and bought this Estee Lauder, which was super expensive back then, um, cream. And it was, I wanted to know what it did. What does it do to your skin? And so that's always been of interest to me. So Sophia, you wanna know all the procedures I've done? This is a whole other live and I'm gonna tell you what, there's not anything that I've done that I've not filmed. So if you wanna go and see really what's goes, what goes on to be 55 and you know, still be able to work out like a beast and still be slim after having three kids and, and sleep well and feel good and have your skin glow it's all it's all in those that the YouTube videos. So make sure that you check those out. But again, any any procedure that I've done, fat transfer or um, peels, chemical peels, lasers, Botox, <laughs> I film it, you guys. I film it. This isn't the place where we I hide behind what it takes to look, look like this. This is the place where I share with you. What are the possibilities? What are the possibilities as you grow older? What are those possibilities? How does a 55 year old look? We're breaking down those stereotypes. There's going to be a day where I mean, this always cracks me up when these 20 year olds on YouTube, I hope I apologize if there's 20 year olds here, but it cracks me up when these 22 year olds on YouTube, I post something about health and they say Botox and I say, fuck yeah. I'm 55. Yeah, I there's Botox involved in this. Um, it's preventative, so I I don't I don't hide anything that I do. But to talk about like everything, if you want to really know the science about what goes into it, I I should make that a whole other live. So um, so somebody says I'm craving a lot of sugar and salt at the moment and going through perimenopause. Any suggestions, please? Absolutely. Okay. So if you're craving sugar and salt, <clears throat> I can I can tell you if you're craving salt. One of my tricks is take a full glass of water and a half a grapefruit, squeeze the grapefruit in the water, guzzle the whole thing. If you still feel like you need a little bit of salt, you might be lacking some minerals um, because your body will, you will crave salt if you're lacking some minerals. First try it with a full glass of water and the squeeze of a grapefruit. If you're craving sugar, sorry, if you're craving sugar, my trick with that is again, water. Water is our friend and fiber is our friend. So if you take a couple fiber pills, drink a full glass of water, wait a beat. If you still want that Snickers bar, go ahead and have it. But I guarantee you, you're gonna eat a lot less of it. And not only that, because you have the fiber of like the fiber pills or even a handful of raw almonds or a salad, if you've got the fiber in your stomach already, the way that that processed food hits your bloodstream is a lot slower. The slower the food, the sugar, let's just call it sugar, 
because bread, anything from the neck down, your, your body does not know the difference between a Snickers bar and a, and a piece of bread. It just doesn't. It all becomes, it all becomes sugar. So if you're, if you're eating something that, that is a carb or a sugar, if you have fiber in your stomach, it's going to slow down the way that that hits your bloodstream, which is far, it's going to lessen the, the, the probability of it being stored as fat. If you see people that have, that they're big around the midsection, right? They've got like that kind of belly. That's where they store their fat. That's sugar. That's sugar. Because what happens when you ingest something like that is your body doesn't know what to do with it. They did it, you know, in prehistoric times, we didn't have processed food like that. We were hunter and gatherers. We went out and you know what? We had single ingredient foods. Every once in a while we'd kill like a, you know, some sort of animal and eat it. So we'd have small portions of meat, but not every day. But we had food that included fiber. We didn't juice the heck out of this and take all the pulp out of it, which is taking the fiber out of it, right? We would eat the orange, which is what I do. I eat the orange, which is what, <clears throat> when I work with you one-on-one, -on -one, we'll go and evaluate all of those things because the thing that pisses me off about our food, our, our FDA, our whatever, whoever is doing the marketing, whoever is in charge of this is what you should eat, what really upsets me is that we think we're doing something healthy. A health food store is oftentimes the worst place to shop because we assume everything in there is healthy. But if it's in the processed food aisle, you might be getting a little bit more nutrients. It's still converted to sugar. Processed food, carbs are converted to sugar, whether they're organic or not. Now, there's, you wanna aim for the organic. You wanna aim for stuff that has a little bit more fiber in it, but we, we were not made to go and grab food out of the pantry. That's not how our bodies were designed. So this is something when we work one-on-one -on -one together, I can really get in there and, and get it to where you're at your optimal weight, which is different for everybody. We're not cookie cutters. We're not supposed to be all the same size, right? But that's what I, that's what I love to do is how do I help you look and feel your best at every age and every stage of life? And that comes from the one-on-one -on -one counseling. So if you guys, uh, and I do that all through Zoom. I might, last week I, micro, I helped microneedle a, a woman's face for the first time, she'd never used Dr. Penn microneedling. And through Zoom, we microneedled her entire face and now she can use that device. So it's not just diet and exercise, but it's all of those things, the insides and the outsides, all of them come together for optimal healthy aging. Um, I had a question, which uh, coffee brand? This is the one that, I, that I've been using. I'm not, again, not affiliated, not making a dime off of it, but I love this because it does offer multiple types of mushrooms in here and mushrooms great for our brain health, which is a whole other live. We could talk about brain health. Okay, I gotta go here before I, I get off of here, make sure that you have invited your people so that you're in the drawing for the cryotherapy facial tool. And this is de-stressing, which is why it's on this, um, on this live. Uh, and remember, we had David Stewart, the founder of and the face of Ageist. Um, the Instagram for that is We Are Ageist. And he's also the host of the Super Age podcast on how to live healthier, longer, and happier. So make sure that you check that out and download your free PDF for your stress reduction. Okay, you guys, thank you so much. I will see you next week, same time, 11 a.m. And we are going to get to the bottom of these fad diets. All right. Mwah. Bye, guys.